A local mother claims that a TriMet Max operator ignored her pleas when she became separated from her daughter. She says this happened at the Max stop at Lloyd Center. And Coin Local 6 reporter Cor Harlan is live there tonight. So, Cor, how exactly did this happen? Well, here's how it happened. Actually, first, Kelly, this uh, Max Rider, as you mentioned, is calling out another driver here for an incident involving her nine-year-old daughter who slipped out those sliding doors just before the train took off yesterday uh, at around 5.30. This was at the Lloyd Center, a couple of blocks to my east here. And the woman says the driver failed to stop, and she says he really didn't seem to care at all that the daughter had slipped out the doors there. Heather DeVoe is her name. She's from Oregon City. She says uh, she ran up to the driver. She says simply threw her hands in the air. Heather says in the final analysis, she does not get the feeling that the driver of the train really cared all that much that she'd been separated from her child. I mean, Lloyd Center is not a very good area. And it's really scary to think, or if another train had come along and she thought, oh, well, this one can catch up to my mom, and she jumped on another train, and it ended up being this whole ordeal with the police being called. Now, Heather's not heard back from TriMet. This is not the first time parents have been separated from kids on the MAX line here. As you're aware, some situations in the past have materialized here as well. Heather wants TriMet to, to make their drivers more aware of situations like this. She's troubled by the fact also, Jeff and Kelly, that these alarm buttons that they have on the trains, she says don't seem to work or the drivers don't hear them or she suspects maybe the drivers don't even pay attention to them in some cases. She's very, very concerned about that. Reporting for you live tonight in Northeast Portland, Core Harlan, Coin Local 6.